just Northern Soul is American soul music that has nothing to do with North America or North England for that matter. Um, just uh, there was a big, actually there was a scene in America going on at the same time. It, it was shag music and beach music on the East Coast that would have these dances and they were pretty much doing the same thing. But anyway, in England, uh, DJs were just trying to outdo each other by really searching records hard and trying to find records, American records, from that other pe other DJs didn't have. So they would come over here and buy trips and buy out little warehouses that or little garages of soul records. Um, and then actually sometimes peel the labels off, scratch them, cover them up, actually make fake labels with fake names so that if somebody else saw some crazy, oh, Arrowhead doing clear water, they'd try to find that, but that record never existed. Uh, they'd go that extent of just trying to outdo each other. And, and, and just some journalist in Northern England, because these dances were getting really popular in Northern England, dubbed it Northern Soul because this was happening in Northern England, and that name just stuck. And so now that genre of music... It's just called Northern Soul. Um, that's uh, and, and it, it kind of takes a fine-tuned ear to be able to hear something and go, "Oh, that's a Northern Soul song." That's not saying it's not just a soul song, but it's just that sometimes, because they were trying to outdo each other so much by finding a more upbeat song or a certain rhythm that Motown wasn't delivering at the time or Stax, and that was the Northern Soul sound. This is one of the most elite soul bands that lives in California, right here in San Cruz. The Insiders! <laughs> it's even alive is because of besides the fact of what went on in England and and all the soul lovers not to take anything away from that but the scooter scene the mod scene the skinhead scene the 60s scene in general really kept northern soul alive and ska alive for that matter and and many other mod music the jam and Dr. Martin's and Fred Perry's all that stuff really was just kept alive through through all those scenes um, and the scooter scene was where the insiders kind of came from because 
I've always been a scooterist, and um, a couple there's always been at least a few guys in the band that had scooters, and that's the scene that we've kind of piggybacked off of. It'd be great to play outside of that, but that's our that's our base right there is the scooter scene. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, why don't you like the guitar louder? <laughs> we would, we would ultimately like the guitar to be Sorry. able to play a lot louder on stage. <laughs> Rick, why doesn't the band pay for more guitars? <laughs> Just to get good gigs. I mean, I, to have oh. soul become more popular and. Not to be famous, whatever, but just to get good gigs. Well, I yeah. think that's the beauty. I think that's the beauty of the band. I mean, I mean, is that is that we really? I know, I know from from my perspective. I know there's other people in the band who feel this way. We're playing to to play. I mean, that's what we're there. We're doing what we want. Because we want to get do. rich off it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we love we love we love mean? bigger <laughs> and better shows. That'd be terrific, you know. But but really, you know, I feel like we approach it as this is why we're doing it, you know. So it's, so it, I mean, it's nice to have goals and it's nice, and we certainly, you know, beyond a doubt, want to and strive for bigger and better. But, you know, it's definitely, it's definitely, you have to, you have to be doing it for what you're doing it for mm. right now. Otherwise, Cause for the most <laughs> it's part, too much work, you know, right. to not. We got to enjoy it. For the most part, either, either most of us or some of us have good jobs or own businesses that we're not going to give up for band. We're not. We're, we're not living in a dreamland. Or the other ones that aren't there yet are going to school or working towards having a good job. And the band is fun. Do we want that there always? Yeah. Are we going to quit our job for it? That's not realistic. We're we're not going to be a rich and famous band. So we better enjoy just doing it. That's all. So yeah, good gigs, fun gigs, that you can still keep your job to come home to. We're kind of a weekend band. With the occasional weekday bands and the occasional tour, but that's that's where we're at because we're a working class soul band. <laughs> <laughs>